my dear students, welcome again. This is Ms. May Badr, your English teacher. We will continue studying Connect 4. Today, we are going to study Unit 2, Lesson 6. Please make sure that you bring your books to all our sessions. You should also bring along papers and a pen. That's all you need to enjoy our lesson together. So, let's begin. Abl. ما نتكلم عن الدرس بتاع النهاردة Let's revise the previous lesson المرة اللي فاتت اتكلمنا عن البوستر وقلنا ازاي البوستر بتاعنا بيتعمل وانه لازم يكون very colorful in order to grab the reader's attention وقلنا كمان ازاي نعمل الفاكت فايل لأي animal and how to make a research about the animals we also said that we will talk this time about an unpopular animal. Okay, tell me, what do we mean by popular? Popular means famous. يعني حيوان معروف ومشهور ومحبوب. Now, who can tell me the opposite of popular? Let's go to our whiteboard and I will show you the opposite of popular. يعني ايه اوبوزيت اوبوزيت يعني العكس بتاع الكلمه اوقات بنقول اوبوزيت واوقات بنقول إيه الانتنم بتاع الكلمه طيب انا عندي كلمه زي كلمه بوبولار وقلنا معناها معروف او فيمس هاو تو فورم ذا اوبوزيت اوف بوبولار باي ادينج ان تو ذا بيجينينج اوف ذا وورد so the word becomes unpopular. Can you think of another word with un? For example, if I'm saying happy. حد سعيد مبسوط. What is the antonym or the opposite of happy? Unhappy. Can you name some popular animals? Think why they are popular. You have five seconds. Monkeys, for example, because they are funny. Well done. Rain gazelles, because they are beautiful. Dolphins, because they are friendly. That's great. So again, let's revise. What's the opposite of popular? Unpopular. Thanks a lot. Do you know some unpopular animals? Why do you think they are unpopular? You have five seconds. Rats, for example, because they are ugly, Crocodiles, because they are dangerous. Snakes, because they are scary. Well done. Now please get ready to make a poster about an unpopular animal. Find an animal that is not popular. Try to answer following questions using the reference books or by asking your classmates. Where does it live? What does it eat? Why isn't it popular? Why is it special? Plan your writing, write the title, the layout, and illustrations for your poster. I am sure you will do a great job. Now, let's go to our smart board and look at the picture of our unpopular animal. Let's look at the picture of today's animal, the naked mall rat. Why do you think it's unpopular? Take five seconds to, th to think. It's strange looking. 
It has no fur. It has big teeth. It has tiny eyes. It isn't cute. This is really amazing. You are great students. Now, let's read the text. Page 40. So please, all of you, open page 40. What questions does it answer? Where does it live? Why isn't it popular? What does it eat? Why is it special? Well done. Now, my dear students, let's have some fun. You can look at the poster and talk about it to your friends and to your family. Now, let's read together about the naked mole rat. Naked mole rat. The naked mole rat lives in Eastern Africa. It has big teeth and no hair. It can't control its body temperature because it has no hair. يعني إيه الكلام ده؟ الحيوان النهاردة اللي هنتكلم عنه اللي هو unpopular عشان هو شكله مش حلو قوي. The naked mole rat. وده بيعيش في Eastern Africa. سنانه كبيرة وما عندوش أي hair أو أي fur. حتى ما بيقدرش إن هو يكونترول درجة الحرارة اللي في جسمه. عشان هو ما عندوش fur وما عندوش hair. But there are two things that make the mole rat special. Number one, it doesn't get ill. ما بيعيش خالص. Number two, it lives for a very long time, till 31 years. Scientists want to learn all about mole rats. They are not cute animals, but they are amazing. Now, we are going to solve exercise number four and revise some language and some facts from this unit. It's not a test. This is just to see how much you have learned and what you need more practice with. Let's open page 41, but before that, let's clean our whiteboard first. And get page 41. Look at the pictures of the animals and the parts of the body. Let's look together and see. Do you remember the names for these animals and parts of the body? Look and right. فاكرين الحيوانات دي اللي اتكلمنا عليها قبل كده والparts of the body بتاعتهم تعالوا نفتكرهم سوا ونكتبهم سوا. Let's look at the first one. Number one. What is it? Very good. It's a camel. So let's write the word camel together. Number two, what is it? Very good. It's a fennec fox. Let's write fennec fox together. طيب. المرة اللي فاتت احنا قلنا علشان ابتدي جملة لازم ابتدي بكابيتال لاتر ولازم احط الساين بتاعتي at the end. سواء الساين دي كانت full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. هنا أنا مش هعمل ده لأن أنا مش بكتب sentence أنا بكتب phrase أو بكتب word يبقى مش لازم أن أنا أبتدي ب capital letter Let's go to number three What is this? Take your time and think Very good It's the step eagle So let's write step eagle together Picture number four. What is it? Think. It's a very dangerous animal. Excellent. The crocodile. Crow. Co. Die. 
Let's go to number five. This is the animal that we talked about last time. Do you remember our story about him? And there was also a bear in the story. Excellent, the pelican. Belly can. Look at number six. It's a part of an animal's body. What is it? الحيوانات ما عندهم شئدين زينا بس عندهم البارت ده في جسمهم اسمه ايه؟ Paul. Very good. Paul. فاكرين المرة اللي فاتت لما اتكلمنا على difference between P and B? طبعا ما بنقولش اسمه بو لا اسمه بو بو وقلنا نحط ايدينا in front of our mouth and we say ب ب ب so it's بو not بو number seven look at this bird it has a large beak very good طب هو انا ينفع اقول beak طبعا ما ينفعش because it starts with letter B. واحنا اتفقنا المرة اللي فاتت ان في big difference between P and B. So this one is beak, not peak. Number eight, look at the picture. What is it? Very good. It's a feather. Feather. وعايزة اطلب انكو طلب. لما يكون عندي th لازم اطلع لساني سنه لبر فمش هقول feather هقول feather feather number nine it's a part of the bird's body ومهم قوي البارت ده عشان هو بيساعد الطائر على الطيران so let's look at number nine what is it wing very good so let's write wing together Number 10, and it's the last one. What covers the animal's body? Is it hair? No, it's fur. Fur. Let's revise the words one more time. Number one, camel. Number two, fennec fox. Number three, step eagle. Umasmush steppy eagle. The E at the end is silent. So it's step like the word step. Crocodile, and it's a very dangerous animal as we said. Number five, the pelican. From our story, the pelican and the bear. Number six, pole. As we, as we said before, the animals have paws, not hands. Seven, a part of the bird's body, which is the beak. Number eight, the feather. Number nine, wing. And number ten, fur. How brilliant you are. I am so proud of you. Let's write the words in our books. And let's look again at question number five. And remember the adjectives that we talked about last time. Do you remember the comparative form? قلنا ايه على comparative last time? قلنا comparative comes from the word compare. يعني انا بقارن ما بين اتنين. وقلنا ان في شوية rules كده لازم نتبعها لما نيجي نعمل ال comparative form. Let's look at number one. We have cat, mouse, and heavy. Where is the adjective? يعني ايه adjective describing word? يعني ايه برضو describing word? يعني كلمة بتوصف. طيب فين الكلمة اللي بتوصف هنا? Cat, mouse or heavy? طبعا كلمة heavy. يعني تقيل. Cat, mouse and heavy. How to form a comparative form using the two nouns cat and mouse and the adjective heavy? The cat is heavier than the mouse. قلنا ايه المرة اللي فاتت على letter Y و letter E قلنا لما اجي اعمل ال comparative form افتكر ان Y و E are not good friends so I have to change the Y 
into I before adding the ER. وده اللي حصل هنا في كلمة heavier. شلنا ال Y حولناها ال I بعدين حطينا ال ER معاها عشان زي ما قلنا Y و E are not good friends when it comes to the comparative form. طيب. Number two, we have giraffe, lion, dangerous. مين فيهم أخطر من التاني؟ الجراف ولا اللاين؟ طبعا أكيد اللاين، صح؟ يبقى هنقول إيه؟ فكروا؟ هنقول إيه في الجملة دي؟ Of course we will say the lion is more dangerous than the giraffe. المرة اللي فاتت برضو قلنا لما يكون عندي adjective كبير ما ينفعش إن أنا أحط له إي آر. فأنا ما ينفعش أقول Dangerous sir. ما ينفعش أعمل كده. هقول more dangerous. يبقى أنا هحط more dangerous بدل ما أقول dangerous sir علشان طبعا كده ال adjective هيكون كبير قوي. تعالوا نكتبها سوا مع بعض. يبقى the lion is more dangerous. than the giraffe معلش انا عشان بكتب بماركر خطي كبير شويه انتوا هتستخدموا pens or pencils فخطكم هيبقى اجمل من خطي بكتير والجمله هتكفي عندكم في الكتاب اوكي okay. last time also we talked about fractions and we said that we have half and quarter تعالوا نتخيل كده لو احنا عندنا بيتزاية واحد خد نصها وواحد خد ربعها مين فيهم خد اكتر من التاني؟ the half or the quarter of course the half so we will say half is bigger than quarter وانا مبسوطه قوي لان انا حاسه دلوقتي ان انتوا افتكرتوا احنا قلنا ايه على كلمه بيجر قلنا قبل ما احط الاي ار لازم تو دبل ذا لاست لتر ويتش از جي ليه عملنا دبلنج للتر عشان قبل اللتر قبل اخر لتر هنا اي هاف ا فاول ليتس ريفايز ذا فاولز توجذر وات ار ذا فاولز اي 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 او اند يو طب وبقية ال letters بسميهم ايه؟ بسميهم consonants هنا عندي vowel قبل ال consonant يبقى انا لازم اعمل double لل consonant قبل ما اضيف ال er بتاعتي let's see number four cell phones laptop small cell phone laptop small طبعا أكيد مين فيهم أصغر من التاني؟ أكيد السيلفون بناخده معانا في كل حتة وبنحطه في شنطتنا نحطه في جيبنا لكن اللابتوب ما ينفعش نعمل معاه كده فمين فيهم أصغر من التاني؟ ده سيلفون So we will write down سيلفون is smaller than لاب So, cell phone is smaller than laptop. طب حد هيجي يقول لي هنا اعمل دبل للتر ما انا عندي فاول قبلي لا لان انا اوريدي عندي هنا دبل لتر فاكيد مش هعمل كمان دبلنج زياده للتر اللي عندي. Let's look at number five. Bike, car, fast. So, which one is faster, the bike or the car? طبعا الكار. فهقول car is faster than bike. Great job. You are super students today. Now, my dear students, let's read the questions and try to remember the answers. If you can't remember the answers, you can look back at the previous pages. Let's read the questions together. Exercise six. Do you remember read and write? 
Number one, what do pelicans eat? Take your time and think. Very good. Pelicans eat fish. Let's write it down. Pelicans eat fish. هنا هطبق الرول اللي انا قلته قبل كده بتاع الكابيتاليزيشن والبونكتويشن يعني ابتدي بكابيتال لتر واحط فول ستوب ات ذا اند ليتس ريد نمبر 2 واي از ا كاملز فوت سبيشال تيك يور تايم اند ثينك ات از لارج اند فلات سو ات كان ووك اون ذا ساند So it is large and fat and flat, sorry. So it can walk on the sand. Number three. Why do rain gazelles have light colored coats? Take your time and think. Rame gazelles have light colored coats to protect them from the sun. So, rame gazelles have light colored coats to protect them from the sun طب هيجي حد يقول لي مكتب تو بروتكت فروم ذا sun وخلاص لا يو هاف تو رايت فول انسر عايز فول مارك اكتب فول انسر وارجع تاني اقول لكم لازم تو فولو ذا كابيتاليزيشن اند ذا بونكتويشن رولز يعني ابتدي بكابيتال لتر واحط فول ستوب ات ذا اند ويل دان Now look at exercise number seven. Think about unit two. Write two things you enjoyed. Write two things you learned. I am so proud of you today. Let's revise what did we say today in our lesson. So what did we say today in our lesson? Or what did we learn today in our lesson? We talked about the mole rat. And how the mole rat is an unpopular animal because the mole rat is ugly. We also revised the comparative form. وقلنا comparative means to use adjectives يعني كلمات بنوصف بيها حاجات وبنقارن ما بين حاجتين. Two people, two things or two places. In the next lesson, You will be look, looking at plants. طيب عايزين نجمع information about the plants. You can use the internet or you can use the information you already have about plants. أكيد كلنا في science lesson خدنا حاجات عن ال plants من وإحنا صغيرين. هنجمع ال information دي علشان المرة الجاية هنتكلم عن ال plants. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I really enjoyed the lesson so much and I will be waiting for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.